BYU comes out big over New Mexico State, 42 to seven. And I'm Matt Peterson here along with Herald Extra and Daily Herald Sports Editor Jared Lloyd. Jared, it was senior night and the seniors, it did in fact show up. You know, this was a big night for BYU seniors. They've played here. A lot of them have played, been here for six, seven years, depending on missions, depending on redshirt years. This is a big night for them. They wanted to come out and play well against New Mexico State, and they really did on both sides of the ball. The offense took a little while to get going. Didn't really play that great in the first quarter, but ended up putting 42 points on the board. I thought the defense was really the story of this game, Matt. They, they just absolutely dominated a good New Mexico State offense. You know, they gave up the one touchdown after the interception. That was really the only thing that New Mexico State was able to do the entire game offensively. And BYU didn't give up that one big play that they seemed to give up to everybody. And I thought that was a really big statement for this team. And I thought it was a statement of what this, this team wanted to do for the seniors. They wanted to come out and play some of their best football. They didn't care who they were playing against. They just wanted to play some of their best football tonight. And I think they did that in getting this win. You know, you mentioned the defense. And one of the big stories tonight was defensive linebacker Kyle Van Noy sporting the jersey of Jordan Pendleton, a senior who could not play on his senior night due to just a, yet another tragedy of an injury. Uh, how big of a statement was that by Van Noy, not just for Pendleton, but for uh, on senior night and with everything that was going on? You know, Matt, they call themselves a band of brothers, and you know, it's really more true amongst each of the units. For a lot of the different units, they really feel very strongly. And Jordan Pendleton's been a mentor to, to Kyle Van Noy. They play very similar styles style of football and so uh, for him to go out and do that I thought it was a great gesture uh, Bronco talked about it and, and Van Noy you know talked about how important it was for him and I just think it's a great move to, to honor the seniors it's a great it's a great way for for a younger player to recognize the contribution of a senior football player and what he's done for the for the BYU football team over the years. And finally, last point, uh, Jake Heaps going for 200 plus passing yards tonight in his first start since September 30th when Riley Nelson took over late in the Utah State game and has started ever since until Riley suffered an injury in the last game. Uh, how would you evaluate Jake's performance now given the, the quality of the opponent and what he was dealing with tonight? It was solid. He was solid overall. I didn't think he was super spectacular. Now I thought Bronco Mendenhall made a good point that uh, his very last pass, a touchdown to J.D. Falls in the final quarter was probably his best play. He ducked under a, a sack, a, a, a blitzing lineman came through and he was able to duck under and then find false left. A very mature type of play. I think he rushed some things early on. I think he might have been trying a little too hard. Hey, I'm back. I'm the starter. Trying a little bit too hard early in the early going, but I thought he played really well overall. And I think that the play calling kind of settled in, kind of got him set. And that's what they're going to need in the future is to, to kind of make sure that the, the play calling is good for his skill set and giving him the best possible chance to be successful as the BYU quarterback when he's needed to be. Absolutely. BYU coming out on top 42-7 to over New Mexico State. Check out CougarBlue.com for all our analysis, including game recap, columns, and game notebooks right there on CougarBlue.com.